hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners in this video we will see how to use notification manager in android so for example i have uh, this running app and i'm going to show you how this will work and then we are going to see how we can write the code so for example this is my app which is running and this has only one button which says notify me and when i click this button it's going to give me a um, notification something like this and when I drag this down I can see this notification which has some content title notification content and some extra features which we are going to see so this kind of notification how we can uh, you know initiate these kind of notification in Android let's see so first of all I have this blank project and as you may have guessed we are going to use a button here and I'm going to change the button uh, text as notify me okay and the button ID I'm going to leave it as default which is button and now I'm going to go to my main activity dot Java file so in here I'm going to declare a button variable so button btn for example and I will give alt enter to include the button imports and now I will take this uh, button variable and I'm going to cast it inside my on create method so button is equal to now after casting uh, this button we can use this uh, button object and we can call set on click method on it so button dot set on click listener and inside the set on click listener we are going to call new on click listener and inside this on click method first of all I'm going to create an object of intent so intent intent object name is equal to new now I'm going to create a object of pending intent here and I'm going to tell you what pending intent is in a second but let me create this object pending intent is equal to and then take this pending intent and then call get activity and the first argument which it takes is the activity itself so main activity here dot this and the second in, uh, argument is zero third argument is your intent and the fourth argument is zero okay now what this pending intent does so this pending intent is a token that you can give to another application for example notification manager which we are going to uh, use in our case and this will allow uh, this application to use the permission of your application to execute a previous defined uh, piece of code okay so that's why we use uh, pending intent here now I'm going to create my uh, notification object so notification and I'm going to include my import and I will name it as noti for example is equal to new notification dot builder and this builder will take the context so I'm going to just copy this main activity dot this and then you can add some attribute to this object for example dot set ticker and this is your uh, ticker name for example ticker title okay and then you can uh, set well, some more properties like set content title and set content text so for example set content title for example and this is my content title and then I'm going to add dot set content text and this is the text for your content okay so for example the content text and I can add as many as text as I want something like this and this if this will be the text which will appear here 
so when I drag this and this is my notification content okay so after this we want to add a icon for example so we will uh, we can add a icon like this dot set small icon and this icon you can take it from uh, your drawable so you can uh, go to your res folder and in here you have your drawable folder and in here you have some default pictures if you want you can add your own custom picture for your notification but for now I'm using the default pictures okay so you can drag and drop your picture here and use it uh, if you want but uh, for now the default picture will be okay so in here r dot drawable dot ic launcher okay this is my default picture name and then at the last you can add the content so dot set content and we will pass our p intent here and then we will call get notification on this notification object okay and here I think it should be set content intent because we are passing intent here right so just change it to set content intent and, and pass your pending intent here and in the next line we can add some flags to our notifications so for example noti dot flags is equal to notification dot these are all the flags which uh, we can uh, add here but uh, the flag we want is this flag auto cancel okay so this flag whenever we click the notification it will cancel our notification okay now in the next line we will declare a notification manager object so just write notification manager I'm going to name it as nm is equal to and we are going to cast notification manager and then we will get services so get system service and in here we want to call notification service okay and then we are going to take our notification manager and then we will call a notify method on it so just take your notification manager object dot notify and first argument will be zero and second argument is your notification object which is noti in our case okay so this will be the code to uh, generate notification on button click so let's run our program and let's see what happens so I'm going to run my program so now my program is running so when I click this uh, notify me button it's going to give me the second not notification first notification is from the earlier app so when I drag this I can see this content title which is this one and then the content text which I have entered some uh, random text here and uh, when I click this this notification is gone okay now in order to add some more uh, features to your notifications something like these icons and some more content or some more actions what we need to do is let's go to our code here and in here in your code after this set small icon you can call some more method like dot add action and first argument it takes is the icon if you want to give any so I'm going to give the default icon second argument is the text for example action 1 and the third argument is your pending content uh, object so this one okay in the same way you can add as many uh, actions as you want just paste it below this and add any number of arguments like this now when I run the program so my program is running now so when I click this notify me button I can see the notify icon and in here I can see action 1 and action 2 here okay 
So in this way, you can use notification with your Android app. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye.